This is going to be another Zippo myth. I have some isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. Now this one's at 91%, which is the highest I could find at Rite Aid. They have 70%, and then peroxide is 3%. So figuring this is going to be the best chance of getting this to light. Now I have a Zippo completely empty. completely empty. Don't want to spill this stuff everywhere. Okay, that was probably like too much. Can you grab something to wipe it up? I don't want to shut the camera off. That way you don't think that I just switched it out or something. Alright. See if it lights. It lights, but it's got a real dim flame. Let me shut this light off. See, it's lit right now. Oh, it just went out. No, it's not lighting. Leave that in the screen. It did light there for a second, but now it's not lighting. find a lighter. Maybe it just evaporating that quick. I'm not sure. Shut this light off again. It's actually pretty dry in there already. Let's add a little bit. Okay, wipe it off. Shut this light off. There you go. So it works. And, but it seems like it evaporates really quickly. Now, isopropyl alcohol is the key ingredient in Perel, and I did the Perel myth. So I, I'm thinking the reason why it worked better in the Perel is because the gel stopped it from evaporating because it was thicker. Let's see if it lights again. It's lit. It's really hard to see, not very big of a flame. I see it's still lit. Well, 
Yeah, now see it's not lighting again. And it's dry already again. So, definitely don't suggest it because it only lasts 30 seconds. It evaporates really quick. Um, wonder if I can mix it with something to make it last longer. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, do this real quick again just to get it to light again. So you can see the smoke from the cigarette, it lit it. It's a real, real dim. Let's see if it'll light back up after burning that long. No. It really sucks it up real quick. It's not even trying to light again. So that's isopropyl alcohol, 91%. And a Zippo lighter. Thanks for watching.